welcome to Legacy Birth. Today we're going to be interviewing Jasmine. Welcome to the show, Jasmine. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm so good. How are you? I'm good. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Legacy Thank Birth. You. We are so happy to have you. <laughs> For those of you guys who are wondering, this is Jasmine, and she had a live unmedicated birth. And a lot of you guys watched this video and were really impressed with her laboring through. And your birth was almost like, it was like watching a marathon because <laughs> <laughs> we really got to see you like really pushing for such like a long period of time. It was like this built up experience. So once the baby was born, it was like, we were really like there with you. Why did you decide to have a natural birth? I decided to have a natural birth because my first birth I had when I was 23 years old, I didn't know anything about anything. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I wasn't planning on having children, so it was unexpected. And so I just went with what, you know, everybody knows. Mm -hmm. And it didn't go like, it was traumatizing. So okay. it made me change my mind because... I wasn't asked if I wanted an epidural my first time and he just gave me one. And it was just, I was in labor for so long, like 12 hours. I was in so much pain. I had toured, the healing process was horrible. And it, I just, I just couldn't do it. And I was just like, this is not something that I want to do again. So wow. that's what made me decide to have a natural birth. He just assumed basically that you wanted an epidural. I had my, um, first child in the hospital and they said that I was in so much pain that I had no other choice but to get an epidural and I wasn't really educated so I just went with the flow <laughs> Wow! and I was like knowing what I know now I was like no yeah <laughs> yes we definitely do have a choice yeah. truly you don't have to do anything no. <laughs> it's <Nope>. your body <laughs> your baby you can say no like even if they threaten like they threaten yeah. moms and say that they're gonna call social services on them those are all just threats to to... Tag, dude. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you had an epidural what would you see the biggest difference between your epidural birth and your natural birth I would say the time frame of being in labor and also the healing process okay the epidural with my epidural it was longer that was my longest labor I had ever had and that was my longest recovery I had ever had <laughs> wow thank you for sharing that I think both experience <laughs> that experience made you stronger led you to yes yes. yes everything's for a reason everything's for a reason yes. <laughs> <laughs> so was there anything that was holding you back in your labor um and if so like how did you overcome it I feel like towards the end when I had arrived I was already nine <laughs> centimeters. 14 right now. And we are about to be out of here because. Oh, yeah, we got her to get to the birthing center. Uh, Trapped up. I'm ready. Uh, ready. Because Woo! I didn't know that I was in labor that whole day. I just started to feel the pain like towards the end and I felt something pop and I was just like and I think that's like kind of like took my focus away from what I was originally doing because I had like the hypnobirthing and okay. all those meditations and things like that and I think that's what helped me like you know progress so far without having so much pain but once I heard that pop I think it like changed my focus and I had to like tell myself like you're okay like it's gonna be okay the pain is just temporary oh. Oh. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and I had to tell myself that because um, that was my second time having a natural birth, but my first time having a water birth. And mm. I knew that the pain was temporary. So I just told myself, like, the pain is temporary. 
you're almost there because I was at the end and I was just <laughs> like, you know, let her do what she needs to do to come. So that's why I, I, I just had to have a pep talk with myself. <laughs> it was tough enough to get in my own head because certain situations will happen and you'll get in your own head and it'll change your focus and it will interrupt your birthing process. <laughs> it's crazy because look, wow. I was watching the video. I was almost <laughs> seeing you going from in, in and out of your head. Like you were like, I can do this, but uh, yeah. <laughs> once I push through, there's no going back. <laughs> yeah. And that's why I tell myself all the time. I was like, once you're there, it's no going back. So it's like, you have to like push through, like do whatever you have to do to push through. And it was me like really talking to myself in my own head, like, get out of your head. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> this is temporary and she will be here. Just let her do what she needs to do and just relax. And I feel like the more you relax, the easier it is. definitely did it so if any moms are <laughs> thinking about that they're scared of the ring of fire it's short it's temporary she pushed through Very. she's the living example <laughs> <laughs> jasmine's instagram is j v s m y n e underscore and her youtube channel is queen of summers Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You can follow me at Legacy Birth on Instagram as well as subscribe to this channel for subscriber only giveaways. Click that red juicy button down below, down below. It says subscribe, it says subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.